my god, why can't I do this? <laughs> Take 10. <laughs> here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you a full face of Shop Miss A. If you're unfamiliar, Shop Miss A is like an online dollar store, dollarama, everything's a dollar, those types of stores. Now, not everything is a dollar, but we'll talk about that. They have a ton of makeup, skincare, hair care. I think I saw panties on there the other day. I don't know that I'd pay a dollar for a pair of panties, but what you do, you boo. Um, and I have been using their products for years. I mean, like, probably four or five years. I've really, really, really enjoyed their products. They are a Texas-based company, and they actually have a storefront. I know they have one in Houston, and they also have one in the Allen Outlet Malls um, here in the Dallas area. So I'm going to share with you all of my favorites. We're going to try a couple of things that are new to me. And I'll tell you what's worth it and what it's not. So I, they have several brands. They have LA Colors. They have um, Amuse. They have one that starts with an S. I don't remember. I tend to stick to mostly the AOA brand. So the AOA brand is their house brand. Some things you can get for a dollar. They have um, a pawpaw line and they have an A plus line, there's one more and I don't remember what it is. These are actually charity items. So the Papa line is priced at $1.55 and I believe it's the 55 cents that goes to charity, don't quote me, but they work with a charity. All of their stuff is vegan and cruelty free for the most part. It's $1.55 and it's vegan and cruelty free. And then their A plus line, um, they contribute money to charities that help schools and I believe kids in need. So really great. They're selling things at a very low cost, probably at, I would say at cost, and they're donating money and they're vegan and cruelty free for the most part, shop must say. So really, really good. This is something that I've had and it's, you can see it's got a green dot. It's in 50 shades of green. This is a new mascara I thought we'd give it a try. So before we get into the makeup, let's talk about some of my favorite tools, etc., from them. And that's gonna the first one is their brushes. I love their brushes. I have the ones with the pink, and then I have oh I washed them. I'm like, where are they? <laughs> They're still in the bucket. Oh, that's good, because I have that too. They're still in the bucket, you see. I washed my brushes this weekend and just left them in a bucket. <laughs> so they have um, a full um, line of eyeshadow brushes. You can buy them in a kit for $10, but they've recently started selling them on their own. And I am so thankful for that because this is my absolute favorite brush from them. Um, it's small enough, I have hooded eyes, so it's small enough for me to get in there and blend, etc. So I'm so happy that they have more because I was able to buy these separately. But you can see that I use these and I use these in that turquoise look I did the other day. Well, the other day when I'm filming this, I don't know when this is going to go up. So I absolutely love their brushes. Are they the best brushes you're ever going to use in your life and are they going to last forever? I don't know. Some of these I've had for four or five years. They were one of the first things I bought from Shop Miss A. So they do last um, as long as you take care of them, etc. Another brush that I really love from them is this one. This is their concealer brush. And there's this one and there's one that's shaped a little bit differently. This comes with a kabuki, which I kind of hate, but it's a foundation and concealer brush. This concealer brush is just so good. I absolutely love it. They also have a highlighter brush that's really, really nice that tons of people love. I don't know where that is. <laughs> it's somewhere. So in order to kind of keep those clean, like when I do clean my brushes, I use this. This is the Shop Miss A, oh, Misty. <laughs> So when I want to clean my brushes, I use this. This is the AOA Argon Oil Sponge Soap. These are $1.55. 
and this one's used, so just take that into account. You can see, I just kind of get this wet and swirl my brushes in here, then I go over the brush mat, and then I rinse them clean. I love these. I can get, if I'm watching my full set of brushes, and I have like 150 brushes, if I am washing all of them, I'll go through an entire one of these. But I think I washed about half last time, and you can see that how much I used. I love it because it has argon oil in it, so it is still super hydrating for them. And it comes in different scents. This is strawberry. I don't know that it smells like strawberry, but I really, really love this soap. I'm down to one, and I didn't even realize that when I placed my order. <laughs> Day for some new stuff but 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend um if you're someone who's using like a dollar soap from the dollar tree i mean just keep going with that if you want to and if it's working but if you want something that's a little bit more hydrating um and does a really flipping good job then i would highly suggest this some other tools i love are their sponges <laughs> So this is their original sponge. You can get this in a six pack, I believe for $8, maybe a little less. Um, I know Teresa is dead loves this. I believe Taylor from Taylor Wynn loves this. A lot of people love this and they even love it more than original beauty blender. They're $1.55, dollar, dollar I honestly can't remember, but really, really good. But I prefer these. <laughs> see how much I prefer these. These are their velour sponges. I believe this is supposed to be a dupe for like the Juno & Co. I never use that one. But if you're someone who wants a little bit fuller coverage and you don't want your sponge to absorb so much product, I really suggest these. You're going to see me use this one. I'll go ahead. Mm, I'm going to use this one even though <laughs> it looks like it looks wrecked. I don't want to start a new one just yet. But I buy these by the half dozen and I change out probably every three or four months. At some point, once you've washed this, the velour will start coming off, and that's when I switch them out. So I have those pink ones, but I actually prefer the velour ones more than that. Another tool that I have from Chop My Say are these. These are the AOA Lash Putter Honors. <laughs> Putter Honors. Lash Applicators. It's a dollar. It works just as well as something else that you can grab off the shelf. Um, and it's something that you can throw in for an extra dollar to get to $35. If you spend $35, you either get free shipping or, or shipping for a dollar. I honestly don't remember. But yeah, love those. Some other things I love are their palettes. They have a, some of the best quality palettes. So um, I have like 20 of them. So these are, oh, these are my Clarity Singles. But you can see it, they're very well constructed. You get a mirror. Um, I love that I bought a t like 10 of the Anastasia ones just because they're beautiful and glittery. But those magnets are so stupid hard, like stupid hard to get anything off of. So I really do prefer um, this one. And the blue you see at the bottom, I broke a shadow. It didn't do anything. So they have them in this kind of normal size. And then they also have them in this size. And I love these for creating just really small palettes. Um, a little spoiler alert. <laughs> So I have my four blushes, two for Graveyard and then two for Pan That Palette in here. Um, this one I've had, you know, I've had, I have four blushes and then a bronzer. So these are really good. And I believe they're like three or four dollars a piece. And I think the most I paid for these are like five dollars a piece. So well worth it. The shipping is dumb. Like the shipping is literally dumb. <laughs> I live in Dallas. They ship out of Dallas. They ship DSL, DLA, DLH. I placed my order on May the 20th and I did not get this until May the 25th. I'm literally in Dallas. I'm literally in Dallas. DHL takes so flippin' long, I wish they would just use something else. So if I had one complaint, it's the shipping. And again, they ship quickly and they ship really, really well. Everything comes in like a um, inflated, bubble mailer and I like it's it's I should have filmed it it's like solid <laughs> like I've I've only had one thing arrive broken ever in all of my orders from them and I think that was more just because it was a little bit dry it was a cream and it was a little bit dry so yeah anyway last but not least <laughs> for something that is not makeup is this this is their green tea and vitamin e face 
cleansing balm. Woo, this is gonna be this is gonna be a struggle bus video. <laughs> this is so good. I'm just about done with this one. And I filmed a video where I tested this against Pharmacy Green Clean, and they basically perform the exact same. They have sample sizes for $1.55. It's still a pretty good size. I probably got a week out of it. So you can try it first, and then these are $8. So highly worth it. You get the same amount. I believe you get the same amount as you do with the Pharmacy Green Clean. Those are like $32, $34, and this is like eight bucks. So those are kind of the tools and, you know, tools and things that I would pick up. I love their sheet masks. I no longer do sheet masks because I'm trying not to do the one and done thing. But like I love their banana one. I loved their egg collagen one. They have a lot of good that. I haven't tried any of their skincare um, just because I don't need any skincare. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I would definitely give them a go. And like I said, I really try to tend to stick to the AOA brand because I feel like the AOA brand is really, really good. I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna do my brows and my eye primer. I thought I had a brow pencil, but it is, it met its demise. So <laughs> literally met its demise. So let me do my eyebrows and um, my eye primer and I'll be right back and we will move on to the eyes. So these are the Starry Eye Cream Shadows. They're Velvet Mousse. So I have one in Brownie and I have this one in Apricot. This is not Apricot. <laughs> these are gorgeous. These are really, really pretty. And it's really hard for me not to buy all of them. But as you guys know, cream products go um, bad quicker. Look at that taupe. Is that not? I was going to go pink. I wonder if I want to go taupe instead. <laughs> do I want to do the taupe? And then this one, again, apricot. This is more of a magenta to me, but I don't name the names. I don't get to name the names. Really pretty pigmented. Um, I'm excited to play with these on my eyes. Okay, I am going to start by placing brownie on the outer part of my lid. I'm using a brush first just to get... The placement I want and then I may go back over it with my finger. I am using a Shop Miss A mirror. I don't love this mirror. It's not the best quality. However, it weighs about seven pounds less <laughs> than my other handheld mirror. That's probably an exaggeration but my handheld other handheld mirror is so flipping heavy and I haven't been in a store where I can try them out to see what might work better. Pull this kind of into my quote unquote crease area because I want to see if I can blend it out. I'm going to bring in just a big, clean, fluffy brush. I'm going to do my best, other than the brows and the eye primer, to just use things from Shop Miss A. Um, like I said, I basically have an entire face. So I should be able to do it. I don't have, but like I said, I don't have any powder eyeshadows. That's the only thing. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and go into this wet. I think wet will be a little bit better. I'm going to wet my brush. And then pick up the eyeshadow. We'll see how we do. Not great. <laughs> oh my word, this is not going well. There we go. I have a powder highlighter. This is the Pal Lighter in... I'm going to try tapping this on. There we go. Yas. That is exactly what it needed. <laughs> we needed just a little bit of shine. Just a little bit of shine. You guys know I like a sparkly look. We have to have sparkles. And this is why I do my eyes first. Because <laughs> I'm so stinking messy. I think that is about as good as we're going to do with what we got. So I think it turned out 
I like it. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera. And then I'll come back and we'll put some eyeliner on or something. So, hopefully those match. <laughs> We're going to hope those match. And I'm going to put on the AOA Artista liner. This is what it looks like. It's black. These do not dry down matte. But once this is on, it ain't coming off. <laughs> If it dries down, it's not coming off. These, I find these stain. Well, I can't say that to the black one because I haven't used it before. But the green one I'm working on, holy Moses, it stains like, like for days. Right along, I'm going to go ahead and move to the complexion. So let me pull out. Let, it, let us <laughs> start with primer. I have the Aqua primer. That's a... That right there is a typo. And then we have the Wonder Skin Illuminating Pigment. So I'm actually gonna mix these, I think. This will be my first time trying this primer, but it won't be my first time using the um, illuminator or the foundation. So the foundations are $1.88 a bottle. And I'm not gonna lie and say that Shop Miss A has the best the best shade range. In fact, I wish they would be a bit more inclusive, even if they just added one or two more shades per shade range, because I think they do light, fair, medium, deep. And um, because this isn't actually a really good foundation. So I haven't tried the one in the pink lid. I believe that's their matte foundation. I burned my head earlier doing, doing my curls that didn't last. So there we go. Okay. I am going to bring in my um, palette and I'm going to mix these up. I just had my palette where to go. There we are. So I like to just use this e.l.f. So I have the shades Fair Ivory, 302 Fair Ivory, and 301 Porcelain. Um, I am going to do a little bit of both. These are a dropper style. And like most droppers, from the drip. I just don't know why companies bother with droppers at all. <laughs> they never work. All right, I'm gonna mix this on my palette and we're gonna pray to the, to the makeup gods that I got a pretty decent color. <laughs> That's not too bad. I bought this when I thought I leaned more warm and I actually am a bit more neutral. So this is a satin foundation, meaning that it is matte somewhat, but it's not like flat matte. It's going to look dry. So I'm going to go ahead and wet my sponge. You can see how, just how big it is here. I just like to keep a bottle of water handy and I just wet it in here. And that also helps because, um, like I use this for my hair, those kinds of things. You could also use this foundation with a brush. Um, like I said, I do have a couple of foundation brushes from them, but, and I don't get this wet, wet. Um, I like it a little bit dry, again, so it doesn't suck up a whole lot of the product. So I can't remember if this is full coverage or if it's, I think it's just buildable coverage, probably to a medium if I had to guess. This is also why I wear a different shirt <laughs> to put on makeup than to when I film or when I go somewhere. That's the face done. Let's work on the under eyes. So if you follow me for a while, you know I was working on the Paw Paw Concealer in my Throwback 30 Project Pan. This has been a holy grail. It's kind of thick, so you have to work, kind of like thin it out a little bit. Well, mine's probably thick because I've had it for forever. But it's a beautiful smoothing, it's smooth, it's not drying, it's not cakey. I actually really, really like it. Um, your mileage may vary. I feel like makeup is so personal to everybody because everybody's skin is so different. But yeah, it's really good. You can build it up to full coverage. I'm just tapping it on a little bit first look a little crazy until I do my under eyes but I like to do my under eye area last 
So that is it for my foundation and my concealer. I think it looks really nice. Um, again, I look a little crazy because I don't have my under eyes done, but let's move on. Okay, so I don't have the cream bronzer from them, but I went ahead and picked up a darker shade of the foundation. I've actually stopped pulling my bronzer down here because I don't like to contour with bronzer. I'm like, why am I pulling my bronzer so far down if I don't like to contour with it? <laughs> so I have stopped doing that. Okay, let's talk about one of my favorite products from Shop Mish. Their cream blush and their cream highlighters are some of my absolute faves. And I have said time and 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 time again, if you are someone who wants to dabble in cream products but you don't wanna spend a whole lot of money, these are fantastic. So these are their Hush Blushes. This one's actually slated for, um, uh, I love the 90s, I think. It's a really pretty color. You can blend it out so they sheer out so beautifully. It's such a nice formula. I just really, really love these. Um, and I can get about 12, 10 to 12 uses out of one. Now, if you're not as heavy handed as me, maybe you'll get more than that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> They're so fucking pretty. Love them so much. Pardon my, pardon my cussing. <laughs> and need to be, it need to have an exclamation point. And I like to use, I think it's called a stippling brush. Don't quote me. It's something like this. So it has these at the top. And I just, I just go in. And then I like to start up here because again, I like to over blush and bring it down. Just like that. And then I will go over it with my um, sponge and just kind of blend it out. You can also do this with a different brush. You could also probably use that brush, but I like to do it this way because I really like to diffuse it. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's do the other side. Oh, it's a ah! So this is their Dewy Highlighter, as I mentioned. I just finished Ozone, Opal, um, Opal in Beauty A to Z. Look at that shift, oh. Is that night gorgeous? Someone's arrived. I'm not expecting anything, so we'll see what happens. For these, I just like to tap it. And again, these are a dollar. This is the time when I spray. No, powder's next. <laughs> like, what am I doing? Okay, so I don't really have a bronzer from Shop Miss A, or I didn't. I picked up this one, I don't know how well. This is their Perfect Powder in Frappe. Oh no, this is Perfect Bronzer Powder. Excuse me. Apparently I wasn't made then. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. I don't know, I'm used to something that's a bit more in your face, but that's actually really pretty. I believe this was a dollar too. If it's in green or pink, then I think it's um, charity and so over a dollar, but I think everything in black is a dollar. All right, I'm gonna bring in a big fluffy brush. Oh good, they weren't delivering over here. I was like, I don't remember buying anything. <laughs> I'm trying not to buy anything. So I have one, two, I had three, but I'm giving one away because it was more of an orangey tone. So these are supposed to be a dupe of the Hourglass blushes. Listen, I have some of the Hourglass blushes. These are better. These are better and they're a dollar. So this one is in So Close. 
And this one is in Rose Dawn. Look at that. This is the So Close and this is Rose Dawn. So they are baked and so they have some luminosity to them, but they blend out beautifully on the face. Oh my God, they're so flipping beautiful. And they blend out pretty here too. I mean, they're just... And they're so different from the hourglass. To me, the hourglass just don't have any pigment for what you're paying for. And these, again, are a dollar. They blend out beautifully. They look beautiful on the face. And I don't, I just don't think you can go wrong with those. And again, they are a dollar. I know Jalon and Valerie went to the one in Allen, and I know they picked up one of each because I was just like, they're so good. They're so good. Uh okay, since I've gone on and on about <laughs> these Illumi blushes. Let me go ahead and pull one in. I'm going to do this one and I need a blush brush. And I, I am normally heavy handed, but we're going to go a little bit easier with this one. <laughs> this reminds me of the, the Dulce Pink. I'm painting the one from Milani in Dulce Pink. Oh, that is so fucking pretty. Look at that. It's so pretty. Oh my word. That is so pretty. Oh my word. <laughs> what did I say this one was in? Rose Dawn. They were out of Rose, I think. They had one that I really, really want. Maybe I'll put it on my list. Do I need another blush? No. Will I get one? Mm, maybe. <laughs> so if you wanted to tone it down a little bit, you could just bring in a powder brush or your powder. I don't, actually don't have a face powder from them, a finishing powder or anything. Just tone it down a little bit. Okay, I think I'm gonna use Cupcake as my highlighter. Really, really pretty. This is my highlighting brush of choice. I got this in a boxy charm. I have no idea who it's from. And you guys know I like to look glowy and hoey, so we're gonna take this basically everywhere. Now, it's time to spray. <laughs> I go ahead and bring in a liner brush and I'm gonna go ahead and use the, um, Oh, that didn't really stay. Whew, good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bring in the blending brush that I was using. Let's try this Big Boss Volumizing Volume and Length Mascara. Got to hurry. My battery's going to die. It's a big old wine, but it's the shape that I like. We're putting on, or I'm putting on lashes, so it doesn't matter. Really? I'm not sure. I'm gonna go change into what I wanna wear to film, change my battery, and then we will finish with lashes and lips and call it a day. Uh, mama. It's gonna have to be close enough. <laughs> oh my word, these lashes, okay. These are the Yanni lashes. My favorite lashes are in the pink. So the charity lashes are my favorite. Let's talk about lips, cause mine are dry. I, when I first got into, when I first purchased from Shop Miss A, that's mainly what I bought was liquid lipsticks. And this was, again, it may even been like five or six years ago. And the formula was fine. It's like a liquid lipstick. It was really drying, etc. And then I decluttered most of my liquid lipsticks. And so I don't really have any anymore. But what I do have is I have a couple of bullet lipsticks. And then I have these velvet lips, which are also supposed to be somewhat matte. But I think they're supposed to be a satin matte. And so let me swatch these. I only have four lipsticks to share. This one's berry a bit more berry got this one which is a bit more pink I don't know if any of these are gonna go with this 
So those are the velvet lips. They really remind me of the liquid suede lips from NYX. And then I have just the regular AOA bullets. So we have this one, really pretty. And this one. So these are the two bullets and then we have two of the two liquids. This is Hmm. 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 Yeah, let's try this one. That's going to be too. <laughs> I actually like it. I think it's cool toned enough and there are bits of pink in my shirt. Yeah, I like that. Formula's nice, it's not too sticky. Feels really nice and creamy and these are a dollar. I have two glosses. I have a lip pop and a glazed. So is this the one that is supposed to be plumping? One of these is supposed to be plumping. I better not have picked up the plumping because we know I don't like to feel like Satan bathwater is on my face. <laughs> Satan boho is on my lips. All right, let me put some, this is just a clear gloss with some glitter. Oh, that's not bad. That's nice. Maybe the faintest smell. There are glitter, but I don't I don't feel them on my face. Yeah, you can. That's it. This is the full face of Shop Miss A, mostly AOA, but a couple of other brands. I will flash up the total of what this look costs to create. Um, I'm not gonna include the brows, the eye, the glue, the eyelash glue, or the primer. I don't have any of those from them, but the rest of it you saw me put on my face, including the sponges, etc. You can't go wrong with any of the products that I shared with you today. I would literally repurchase everything that I bought or everything that I put on my face today. And I may end up getting some more of those cream, cream shadows. I would go ahead and just leave the baked shadows. I mean, they're good, but I mean, there are better single shadows out there that I would spend, like Luxy, sometimes she puts her shadows on like $2.53. $3. I would much rather invest in that as far as eyeshadows, but those cream eyeshadows are so flippin' good. The loose highlighter that I put on my lid, really, really pretty. You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. Um, like I said, I hate that they have such a shit shade range. Um, I just, I can under, I can somewhat understand why, but at the same time, it's like you could add a couple more shades per grouping. Um, I didn't share everything with you. Like they have a BB cream, they have some liquid illuminators that are supposed to be like dupes of the cover effects. I bought one and it was literally this big and I ended up losing it. <laughs> so take with that what you will. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these, what you think of the look, what you think might go on your list. Um, I, the links in the description box will not be affiliated. I don't use affiliate links. Um, I don't know that I will in the future. I don't, I don't know. But as of right now, I just, I don't use them. I just don't use them. I'm not saying people who do are right or wrong, but I choose just, I just choose not to. So you're not, I'm not going to earn any commission. I'm just literally going to send you to shop Miss A. <laughs> but that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a good day, night, weekend, wherever you are. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me over on Instagram. I'm literally at 995. I've been like 998. And then you get the, the, the guy bots that want to, you know, be your sugar daddy or whatever. And they unsubscribe. <laughs> so I've been up and down, up and down, up and down. Anyway, Ruth, I hope this video was helpful. I hope this video was 
coherent and cohesive <laughs> than filming for hours, so I don't know. But that's it, guys. I love your faces. I hope you have a good day, night, weekend, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.